Hey, how's it going guys? Stefan is here. Welcome back for another video. This is the iPhone SC first generation. Should you buy this iPhone in 2021? This is the video for today. Let's start now. iPhone SE first generation in 2021. This is one of my favorite iPhones. And the reason for that is obviously compact design, nice and clean. I just love it. This iPhone, believe me, even after 10 years will be classic, classic design. As you know, iPhone 12, pretty much is the same design. We was waiting for this design for a long time, but now this is the iPhone first generation SE model from 2016. And I know people still using this iPhone even now. This iPhone actually, I know many people prefer this iPhone because obviously compact design and four inch display. It's a great, great, uh, and many people love this phone because the size, 4 inch display, I mean, it's, it's, it's nothing bad about the, the, the screen size. I know many people was complaining that in the beginning that this is a small, um, small display, but some people like this type of design. Uh, this uh, display actually it's, it's good. And um, I know many people love this size and this is one of the reasons that this, I still love this phone in 2021 and many people actually leave leave in the comments down below if you still use your iPhone AC first generation. I just want to know how many people are related. Uh, so that's why I'm making this video because I have this phone and um, yesterday, actually a few days ago, I had a, a comments. Um, I'm going to make a video about this phone in 2021 and people still wants to know if this phone actually it's good to buy. Obviously, you can find brand new one. Um, there's some companies selling um, this phone new, but um, you can get a really good one, a very good example with a very good battery. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what is what is my couple of things that I want to say about this phone is I know it's a five years old. Uh, it's a four inch display. I will talk about uh, about the camera just in a second. But uh, yeah, this phone is, 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 is great because it has a lot of features. And if this is your um, first iPhone AC and you want to step up to the ecosystem of the iPhone on iOS, this is, this is the way to go. Um, I know you can buy a lot of cheap phones right now, but if you want something small, compact design, um, nothing huge, small, this thing is tiny. It's a, it's a four inch display. Uh, obviously the resolution is 640 by 1136. Um, not bad actually. And believe it or not, this gets really, really bright. As you can see, um, it's bright. Um, but I, I think many people will buy this phone because the size. And if you are not techy, if you're not like tech guy <laughs> like many people um, this is not the phone for you because obviously um, small size it's um, uh, the battery I'm gonna talk about the battery just in a minute but uh, this phone is good if you buy let's say if you want to step up to the iOS ecosystem of uh, Apple uh, you want to try you want to see if you want to like the Apple iOS uh, you just want to experiment let's say you you had a android phone but you want to try something something different and uh, maybe this is one of the reasons that you want to try iphone ac first generation um don't get me wrong iphone ac second generation is is good still is good in 2021 but i don't know people still love this phone because it's a small compact um and i don't know it's something that makes makes you feel to use this phone all the time um, and that's why Apple now decides, uh, obviously the iPhone uh, 12, as you can see, is pretty much the same design. And that's why they, they, they get back to this design because it's good. It's, it's, it's nice. People love, love this design. Even now in this day and age, people love it. And this is one of the reasons that many people 
considering to buy this uh, iPhone in 2021. But my advice is if you want to use this phone, you should buy it. And the reason for that is obviously it's cheap. You can buy this phone for $50, $70. Uh, here in UK, I bought this one uh, for £60. This is stealing. This is, this is nothing. Um, this iPhone has 32 gigabytes of internal uh, memory. Um, but it is good. I mean, if you're looking for phone, if you don't want to spend a lot of money for brand new phone, you want to try the, uh, the uh, iOS system, the ecosystem of the Apple, you want to experiment, you want to see if this phone is going to be for you. And later on, you can switch to something more, more, more premium. But nothing bad, nothing bad, nothing, nothing bad to say about this iPhone. The only thing that I want to mention is uh, obviously the battery. Uh, this phone doesn't have a great battery um, and the reason for that is the battery is small um, but this doesn't mean that the phone is is is, is bad um, the capacity of the battery is 16,000 which is not not quite huge but obviously it's a small display it's a it's a four inch display and um, it's 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 okay for the purpose for phone calls messages um, for pff, basically for everything that you can use any phone in these days but it's it's a small this is this is the thing it's a small phone um obviously for videos watching videos social media messaging and so on it's good um obviously it's a small display i'm gonna play some some one of my videos now uh, but um end of the day it's a great phone uh and the reason for that is compact small it's cheap um and this iphone SE still gets updates believe it or not five years <laughs> after five years and still gets the latest updates from apple uh and this is one of the reasons that you should you should consider apple uh for 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 the future because just give me any android phone that can do that this is the problem with the android phones in these days the maximum that you can get is only three years of uh, android support which is in my opinion it's bad i want to talk about this i want to make this quite long but it's you spent like two thousand pounds of a, of a, a flagship smartphone and then you use it for three years and then you don't get support anymore which is bad because you spent a lot of money and you don't get support and believe me, if you don't get like an Android, like like uh, security patches, your phone can be hacked easy. And this is going to be a problem for you because you invest a lot of money in this phone. You keep all your data here and will be compromised super easy. But that's why I I, I, I want uh, most of the companies to, to try to do the same as Apple is doing because it's not safe. So see, this is a nearly five years old this was launched in 2016 and uh, still runs the latest version of the uh, iOS, which uh, for, for some people, this is still great. Um, and um, as you can see, iOS 14.3 um, next week. No, I believe this week we should uh, we should have another update uh, for iOS devices. So make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications for for the future to notify you when i upload the video but uh, yeah this phone runs the latest version of the ios um but it's, it's good so my advice is if you're looking to buy a cheap phone and you want to experiment with the ios definitely this is the phone to go it's a small small compact um if you're not a tech tech person if you don't like like Obviously, you can use this phone for, for normal stuff like messaging, uh, watching videos, sending emails. So this is a good point. Um, but if you're tech, into, in, in, like if you're a tech person who likes technology and stuff, watching videos, uh, this is not the phone for you because uh, the battery will go super, super easy. Like I said, uh, the battery is small, 4-inch display. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is, this is great phone. This is great first phone. Uh, like like I mentioned, it's cheap. It's not expensive. Um, like I mentioned, you can buy this phone for 50, 60 pounds for 70, 80 dollars. And first generation iPhone SE is is great. I mean, another thing that I want to talk about is the camera. The camera on this iPhone still is great. Believe me, 
um, I shot a video a um, couple of days ago on this iPhone uh, I'm gonna leave it in the descriptions down below and um, believe it or not this this phone shoots 4k 4k uh, at 30 uh, frames per second which is which is good and um, I don't know I don't know still amaze me like five years iPhone and still still is is great and uh, let me snap this photo because end of the day whatever your phone you have is gonna be in your pocket so I mean even for video this 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 phone is great um, and the reason for that is we know the Apple is doing pretty good so I'm gonna so it's on 4k so let me put, put this a little bit down so 4k 30 cent 30 frames per second this this is great so as you can see um, I don't know it's it's we know that Apple is doing amazing with the video so this phone is four years old and if you shoot video on this phone will be great pictures will be nice as well so as you can see the lights they're very good so I mean the the, the, the video is sharp and this is one of the reasons that I like to make videos on iPhone but uh, yeah I mean if you're planning to buy like I mentioned a first iPhone and if you're not tech person if you don't play with your phone a lot if you want to use it for messages phone calls uh, emails and just occasionally watch videos this is this is the phone to buy because it's a small it's a compact like I said many people ask me sh should I consider this phone to recommend in 2021 and my goal is yes because this phone is great it's small um, and still runs the latest version of the iOS and believe me not uh, this phone will I believe will work at least two years and you're not gonna have a problems because end of the day uh, we know that Apple op, uh, Apple runs uh, they, they 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 runs the iOS pretty pretty good and you're not gonna have problems with that um, now I'm gonna play some of uh, my videos uh, just to see the sound obviously the sound quality is not gonna be great but um, it's it's not bad It's a mono. It's a mono um, speaker here, but it's it's not bad. But uh, yeah, I mean, my recommendation for twenty twenty one is if you want to jump to the iOS uh, future. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is to go. You can you can buy different phones. Obviously, you can buy iPhones iPhone seven, eight, and so on. iPhone six doesn't support uh, doesn't get support anymore. Uh, but yeah let me know what do you think guys um, my recommendation is if you find this phone um, in a very good example like the more important is make sure that the battery on this phone is is not is not bad because if you have a the but if the battery is not good uh, you're gonna have a problems so my advice is check check the battery should be good um, on my phone the battery is um i believe is 86 or 88 yes yeah, so 88 uh, so the battery health is on 88 so make sure if you find second second hand uh, the battery should be at least at least 90 percent or if even if you if you get like 100 percent battery brand new uh that'll be great but yeah my my goal is to find a very good example not very expensive not beat up this is a very good example it's it's clean it's nice but yeah let me know what do you think guys in the comments down below are you still rocking the, uh, the iPhone SE first generation leave it your comments down below as always this is Stefan I will see you in the next video